Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Lindsay. I'm trying to adjust my camera. <laughs> I hope you're all having a lovely day. I have a Christmas journal and some Christmas ephemera to share with you today. This is a custom December daily that I am doing. This is for you lady. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, she wanted me to make her a December daily journal. And so here's what I made. She said traditional. That was all she said. And so I came up with this journal and it is a cardstock cover. It's just really pretty like cardstock. It's stitched around. There's a removable tassel with their sari silk in here and there's like bead beaded trim and lace and ribbons and all sorts of beauty beautifulness i have a white ribbon that's closing it but it's just slipped through the vintage twine that is holding this together that's sewing this together so that she can remove that if she wants and then on the front there's a really pretty piece of upholstery fabric and then um, a little bit of like a bohemian or sari type fabric there in the background and then there is a christmas vintage print here this is from digital curio and this is as each happy christmas it's a vintage like christmas carol or christmas hymn there's a white doily and then a little button on the front so i just layered that up and then on the inside there's another one of digital curios ones the christmas vintage christmas songs or carols this one is from heaven above and then what i've done here is there's this Christmas craft Christmas type paper and then this is like an acetate sheet that says Merry Christmas and I just washi it on like a little hinge so she can put a picture under there if she wants to and the main printables for this kit are from Artie Mays this is her kit from last year I had a mishap with my printer ink today as you can see so my hands are always colorful <laughs> uh, the blue went slipping out of my hand and flying across the room so that was fun so this is Artie Mays, and that's what I used for the, those main kits. Here's some of my Christmas hand green dyed paper. There's a little Christmas bird here. And then I come up with another journal card collection. This, these are antique Christmas neutrals. And then I have the whole set uh, here, but you will see them throughout. So I'm not gonna take this set apart, but they are in my shop. They're um, like journal card size. So you can see it prints four to a page. I've cut them out, inked them, and there's 12 in the pack. So you can click that link below, but I'll just show you as I come across them here. So here's one and it says, midnight scarcely passed and over drawing to this holy morn, very early, very early Christ was born. And then here it says the Rose of Sharon, Lily of the Valley. And it's just this beautiful, I found it from scans of 1800 children's Christmas book. It's called like Christmas in art and music, I think, but so gorgeous. So I've added those all throughout. A little bit of washi there. So the Artie Maze. And then I added a wallpaper ribbon and a little um, pine cone thing. And I clipped two pages together. <laughs> okay. All right. So Artie Mays, and then I did a little gold doily, a sticker that says Christmas list, one, two, three, and a little rhinestone. She's actually gonna be using this as her December daily. And I've done a December daily before, it was like two years ago, I think, that I actually did an entire December daily. And you're gonna need room for writing and pictures. Another one of these vintage neutral cards here. Christian men rejoice and sing, tis the birthday of a king. And Excelsis Gloria has some like Latin or Greek or whatever. Really pretty. And then this is a piece of wallpaper. It has incredible texture. And so I have a glassine bag stapled on here and I added this little wooden Christmas tree to cover the staple. So this flips down so that she can put like a whole picture or put things behind it. And then this is a tag from the Artie Mays kit. I love how her tags can be double-sided so easily you just fold them in half. And so that's behind there. And then inside the bag is just a little piece of Christmas uh, paper. So this is the back of the wallpaper and I just added this washi that says believe and this would be really pretty to mount a photo on. This is the Artie Mays kit. And so is this and this and I just glued on a guest check. 
so that there was a place for her to write because this paper's a little dark. Artie Mays, and then this is a vintage 1960s Christmas book, and this is the Yule Log. And then clipped on here is another one of these cards. And um, if you have the son born of Mary, or here's the son, one born of Mary, the wilderness and solitary place shall be made glad. And it's these trees, kind of like a winterscape almost. And then a little rose card. Mandy sent me some of these. They're so cute. I've been trying not to hoard them, but I really like them. And I thought of a Christmas rose, so that's why I added that. And another song, Christmas song from Digital Curio, A Babe is Born in Bethlehem. And then we have a gold heart doily that's folded over this page. A little bit of my hand-dyed red Christmas paper, and then I stitched this on, and this is from my Christmas cheer digital kit. I offer it printed on ivory cardstock, but this is from the digital download. It's just printed on presentation paper. It says Christmas greetings. So that's in my shop. And then um, tucked in here is a piece of my green dyed paper that can be purchased in my shop and a little sheet of stickers that she can use. Artie Mays. Artie Mays. One of these beautiful bags from Above Par Crafts. Her link and coupon code are in the description box below. And then another one of these cards. It says, born of gladless evermore and evermore. Has like a cathedral and the angels. Vintage, like Christmas craft book. My green dyed paper. And then here's an envelope from Artie Mays. It's really pretty. And I put another one of my cards. And what's nice about these cards, see this is the same one as the top one here. It almost has, it has like this ivory mat around it, and then you can kind of cut them down. Just cut off the edge, cut them down, and make them slightly smaller. Like, I wanted it to be able to fit into this envelope. All of the paper clips are red throughout. There's a little gold foil Christmas tree sticker. The middle of the signature, I did these Christmas craft paper tuck spot, corner spots so she can tuck up pictures or something. A little piece of Christmas burlap fabric here, or ribbon, I guess. And then just a journal card. And then another one from the kit, and it says Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And then there's like manger scenes and angels and all of that. This is from the Artie Mays Christmas kit. And it's just white on the inside. You can put in pictures or journal. More of my green dyed paper. This is also from that neutral Christmas sing out with bliss his name is this emmanuel as was foretold in days of old by gabriel hosanna and excelsis so that's really pretty and then the other side of that bag and i added the sticker that says all i want for christmas and then there's another one of these it says god the lord and all adored for thee let the bright and red berries some grow everywhere. Some of that writing is kind of hard to tell. Christus, Natus. Anyway, really pretty Christmas little card there. And then we have Artie Mays, Artie Mays. Piece of wallpaper pocket. There's a little birdcage die cut there. And then in here, this is my Christmas dyed paper, the red. And then this is from the Christmas Cheer Digital Ephemera Pack. I've just punched it out with a punch. And then another one of these. He is born to set us free. He is born our Lord to be. Get it back in there. <laughs> okay, and then uh, we have, sorry, I thought my camera had stopped recording, but it hasn't. So here's a tuck spot, the little vintage snowman and some holly leaves. And then we have this really pretty glittery card. And then I embossed this like evergreen bow in this kind of gold color on that. This envelope is very special and I included it specifically for her. My pen pal Mandy made this for me and um, she, sh she is amazing at her envelopes. I love them so much. I thought I love the fabric kind of as a postal stamp here in the corner and I thought the colors really were Christmassy and so I'm including this one in this journal. And then another one of these cards. 
the Son, the Holy One of Mary. Kiss the Son, the Holy One of Mary. And so that goes there. And then we have a couple little, we have a Christmas tree and a little ticket that are clipped on here. So she can use them anywhere. More of that vintage Christmas book. Another one of these cards that's put on here. Christ was born on Christmas Day. Wreath of the Holly, Twine the Bay. There's Artie Mays. Artie Mays. The other side of that wallpaper. I thought this was kind of cool, but you could cover, she could cover it up if she wanted to. But I clipped on here um, 12, like for the 12 days of Christmas. And then another one here. This is the nativity scene clipped on this wallpaper. And then these are like medallion, kind of like medall medallion um, stamps. But I thought they kind of looked like really ornate snowflakes. So I just stamped them on there. This is an Artie Mays journal card that I stitched on this Christmas paper. This is Artie Mays. Artie Mays. The rest of that piece I had of that sorry fabric. And this is my green paper. And then someone sent me this in Happy Mail. I don't remember who it was, but it's a Christmas stamp. Born on a midnight clear, a baby boy so small and dear, a holy child sent from glory. That's the real Christmas story. And then I just added the green stitching. Artie Mays. Artie Mays. And then this is from Above Park Crafts. It is so cute. It says sale price. I thought that went well with Christmas. It's a vintage like sale tag. And I added a little gold ribbon and put that on there. So this is your uh, journal. I hope that you really love it and enjoy it. And if you guys want to purchase this set, this is available in my shop and they come just like this, inked, cut out, and tied with a little ribbon or twine or lace or something like that. So I'm getting into the Christmas uh, season. I was singing Oh Holy Night while I was making this and I will see you all in the next video.